welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. I'm gonna show you an affordable Martin guitar today. Martin is known for the historic legacy of making American flat top acoustic guitars, and now you can get one under 700 bucks. This is the Martin DX2E. And I'll break all that down for you on the bench. We'll talk full specs. Of course, I'll play it and let you hear it. Top. If you're in the market for this guitar or any gear, click to buy new gear using our link. You'll find that in the description or pinned in the comments. It helps us make these demos. So thanks for buying new gear using that link. Also, we're giving away a Martin D28 when we hit 100,000 subscribers. And all you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed. So subscribe now, turn on notifications, and use our entry link. That's also in the description or pinned in the comments. All right, let's take a closer look at the Martin DX2E. So we're covering Martins at every price point. This one is on the more budget, affordable range of $649 currently. Again, you can click our link. Uh, in the description for the current pricing. Uh, but this guitar has a few features which really keeps costs down. Uh, it does have a solid Sika spruce top, which is a standout feature of this guitar. The rest of the guitar, however, it's kind of interesting. It's made of high pressure laminate. So the rest of the body back and sides, the neck is actually compressed laminate, almost like you compress wood for a skateboard. And uh, they give it a wood look with the veneer and all that. Um, one actually big feature of that that's, that's important to know and actually a, a good a uh, positive thing about this is that it's super durable. It's not as sensitive to changes in humidity uh, or the temperature. But basically what this is, is a budget dreadnought. It's still X-braced. Again, it still has the uh, Sika spruce top. I like the sunburst finish and the tortoise uh, pick guard, tortoise shell pick guard. Uh, budget woods otherwise, or the high pressure laminate is really the big differentiator from this. So I'll let you know when we put it on the bench uh, and when we play it, if it's worth it to spend this kind of money or if maybe you should step up into something else. So stick with me to the end, we'll give it a final score. Well, let's head to the bench and take some measurements now. And that comes in at 1.74 inches. We have a first fret at 0.83 inches, up to a ninth fret of 0.88 inches. You can kind of hear the characteristic. It's not, it's not plastic. Um, what this HPL actually is, it's like, it's a product of making paper um, and wood processing. And it basically is like a pulp that they can form into shapes. And then it becomes like a really rigid, uh, durable material by the time they shape it. They get the wood look obviously like through a veneer um, to give you that kind of classic wood look. But that's what that HPL kind of feels and sounds like. Body thickness at 4.7 inches. Nice full dreadnought shape. We're 15 and a half inches at the lower bout, 11 inches at the waist, about 11 and a half inches up top. Four pounds, 11 ounces, uh, we'll call it four and three quarter pounds. All right, great price on this guitar, budget level guitar. It's a good loud projecting guitar. The tone is not very balanced. I'd say it's a lot of highs. It's um, if you've ever heard a guitar described kind of with that tin canny sound, it does have a little bit of that kind of plasticky tin can-esque tone. But what I will tell you is for the price, this is a guitar you can leave like in your camper, in your van, in your car. And because it's so durable, because it's made of this HPL, um, it can take a beating and you don't have to worry about it. Great for practicing, great couch guitar. Uh, you know, you're not talking about uh, beating up on like a $3,000 Martin standard series guitar. You're talking about a durable, rough and tough guitar that you get for $649 at today's prices. And what maybe you have a trade-off in, in terms of the quality of the tone, but it's at that price. So that's kind of the trade-off, right? Remember, if you're in the market for any gear, this guitar or anything else, click to buy gear using our link. It really does help us. You'll find that in the description or pinned in the comments. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna give you a deep dive into the sounds. We'll play it both with the onboard electronics. That is a great touch that it has onboard electronics. And we'll also mic it up with an AKG C414 uh, microphone. So drop a comment as we go. Remember to stay with me till the end. I'll give you my raw reaction and final score. And also, if you wanna check out the Nazareth uh, Martin Guitar Factory, you can watch our full tour on the channel, also linked below. All right, let's get to work.
So this is the Martin D X2E, affordable guitar, uh, under $700. Click the link in our description or comments for the current pricing. Uh, it's a super affordable guitar. The X series is gonna feature this laminate wood. Um, now there's pluses and minuses. The biggest advantage of having that compressed laminate wood is that it's super durable when it comes to changes in temperature, unlike a traditional guitar that you gotta be real careful, you know, big changes in humidity, temperature, on and on. This is kind of designed with the idea that it's really tough. It can take a beating and it won't change on you. Now the drawback is it just doesn't feel like it's big brothers and big sisters. It's, it feels cheaper. Um, it has kind of a more tin canny sound. And it's one of those that if you want something that's super affordable, you throw in like an RV or you have just around the house that you pick up and play on the couch, um, that's what it's for. Just super affordable, durable guitar. It doesn't sound bad, but I will tell you that for a little bit extra money, you should really check out our demos on the Martin D10 series. That's well under $1,000 in a couple different variations, and that is a really high quality guitar uh, with real woods, and I think the sound is leagues beyond this one. So, let's talk score. When I give a guitar a final score, I base it on three things, overall playability, overall sound, overall value. Now, playability. Um, I will say that the setup out of the box was a little bit, uh, strings were a little higher on this one, um, and there is a certain stick on this neck. It's like you can hear it. <laughs> There's a certain stick to this neck that I'm not crazy about. Um, the tuner quality was good, no problems there. Um, you know, there's no cutaway, so it is what it is. It's a dreadnought, right? It's, it, it, in terms of playability, the biggest detractor, in my opinion, I think is probably just the stick of this neck for whatever reason. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 in overall playability. When it comes to sound, it is a good loud projecting guitar. Um, you know, it sounds like a steel string dreadnought in terms of its projection, but in terms of its tone, it is getting a little bit in the tin canny, uh, you know, region for me personally, especially because I know I'm not knocking Martin. I'm just knocking, I guess I'm knocking this in comparison since I played the, the 10 series. So really check out the 10 series. Um, this will save you some dollars. Sure. But if you want leagues, better sound, I would check out the D10 series. Overall sound, I'm gonna give this guitar a 7.0. Overall value, what I do like is they're giving you electronics on board so you can blend with a microphone or go direct or a combination of both, right? Um, in terms of getting a guitar at this price with Martin's name on it, these are made in Mexico. Again, this is composite material in terms of the wood that they use, it's, it's like pressed laminate. It's not a bad price, but again, it comes down to comparables. Because there are comparables um, from Epiphone, from Martin, uh, the 10 series. Epiphone, you check out the J45, fantastic guitar for not much more money at all. Um, either those Martin 10s or that Epiphone represent, to me, a hands-down better choice. Um, and I can't think of a reason to save the money and steer you towards this one when those other alternatives exist for just marginally more. So. Uh, overall value, because it is well under $1,000, in fact, it's under $700, um, I'll, give it, I'll give it an 8.0 on value, um, but I'm not super impressed with the laminate wood and the feel of it and the overall sound. So go ahead and give an overall score of 7.5 on this guitar, mainly because it has positive attributes that it's durable, it's rugged, it can take a beating, you don't have to worry about it, um, and it's, it's priced to a point where, again, you're not gonna lose sleep, it does, it does include electronics, which is a big deal. And uh, you know, it's not a bad deal. There are better choices. That's my final word on it. So if you're in the market for any other gear, click to buy new gear using our link in the description or the comments. It really helps us make these demos. Check out our demos on the guitars I mentioned, like the Epiphone J45, the Martin 10 series, and all the other guitar demos across our channel. We're also giving away a Martin D28 Made in America beautiful dreadnought guitar when we hit 100,000 subscribers. To win that, simply hit subscribe right now. You must be subscribed, turn on notifications, and then sign up via Gleam. The Gleam entry link is in our description also or pinned in our comments. All right, for playing trade guitars, I'm John. That's Zach behind the camera. Thanks for checking out the Martin D X2E guitar. Check out our other demos. We'll see you on a video soon. Thanks for hanging out.